Welcome everybody for the first ever episode of Ask Glaston. It was three weeks ago when we launched the service Glastory, and in Glastory we have the Ask Glaston section. We have received excellent questions from you, and today in this first episode we will cover the first question. The first question has to do with the glass anisotropy. It's a real case. Uh, I'll read it out loud for you. Hello, we have currently an issue with anisotropy while heat strengthening a silver reflecting solar control coated glass with a low emissivity. The glass thickness is 10 mm. Now, they have already tried to play with um, with the nozzle distances, with the top and bottom nozzle distances in order to get the, get rid of the phenomenon, uh, but they haven't yet uh, reached a successful result. Now, today I have here with me Kimmo. Kimmo is a very experienced guy in, uh, in uh, running low emissivity glasses, and today we'll discuss with him that what are the other things that uh, this customer can try. Now, Kimmo, how do you see? They have already tried this uh, uh, nozzle distances in the quench. We took a look at the pictures with you. Can you say a couple yep. of words about the pictures first? So, uh, based on the pictures, what we look uh, when anisotropy is coming to the class or stress marks, it's usually a combination of two things. First one is the heating, and the second one is the quench cooling. And looking to the pictures, it looks that the class hasn't been heated up evenly which means in this case that the marks which we create in heating are doubled or even tripled in the quenching side. And to, able, to be able to fix all the issues, the glass has to be heated up completely evenly. So there might be issues with the heating elements itself, broken elements, there might be blocked convection which creates temperature differences, or last part is that the convection has been used throughout the whole heating cycle. So these stress lines and temperature differences are multiplied in the end of the heating time. So these, these things will make the glass worse. So I would start fixing the heating side of the furnace or the glass to get it even as possible before going to the quench. Excellent, Kimmo. So there you got it. Concentrate on the heating first. If the heating isn't right, then the quenching actually multiplies the phenomenon. The second question has to do with an event that we held a couple of weeks back in Turkey. There was a glass processing days Navi concept which is an educational seminar for glass processing and uh, the question was are those materials already available? Now good news for you we have put those uh, materials to Glastory to resources section. So click on the top menu, the resources section, and you will find those conference materials from there. 